Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to, before I show you what I've been buying lately, um, I want to introduce you to someone. It's Luna! Say hello Luna, this is your YouTube debut. Um, so this is our new rescue dog, Luna. She's a French Bulldog and she's a bit naughty. So I just wanted her to say hi and then um, I'm gonna go put her back in her bed because, oh, she's already off. Back in a minute. <laughs> I do, she's now really grumpy with me now. Um, right, so, one, got a new dog. Two, I'm not in my house because the building work got a bit too much and they basically said that we were in the way and we had nowhere to sleep. So we've moved into my boyfriend's mum's um, annex, which is actually a holiday let, but luckily, chances had it that no one was staying here when we needed it. So we have moved into the holiday let and now we're going to be here, um, I reckon, for the next four weeks. Um, but it's lovely. It's in the middle of nowhere. We've got loads of low farmland around and the birds wake me up every morning, so it could be a lot worse. Also, very quiet compared to a building site. Very quiet indeed. But anyway, so loads happening, which means that last week I didn't do a video because there was just too much going on and then we got the dog and Luna was peeing and pooing in the house and it all got a bit too much. Um, so I didn't do one last week, but this week I'm going to show you all the things I've been buying lately. So it's sort of like a January stash, January haul video. Um, there's not that much, um, I didn't go crazy, but there was just a few things in the sale and a few new things that have come out lately that, um, that I bought. So that's what I'm gonna show you now. Okay, so I'll do Minerva Crafts first. Um, now, they did a, well they had, I don't know if it's still on, but they had a simplicity pattern um, sale. Um, I think they were all 50% off, so I was like, oh perfect, I'll get some more patterns. Um, so the first pattern I got um, is the Simplicity Madeline um, bodysuit. Um, now I've been wanting this for a while um, because one, I like bodysuits because you can just tuck them into trousers and they're really comfy. Um, and I just like the ribbed knit style look one um, and I thought like a long sleeve one would be really nice. And also because I'm quite a cold person it's quite nice to like layer. Um, so I was really excited to see this um, and I've sort of bought some fabric for it already so I'll show you that in a bit. But yeah, really really happy with this purchase. Um, again, I think it was 50% off or something. Um, and I've got loads of press studs and things like that um, already in my stash so that was like a nice easy one for me to get. The second one is another Madeline um, Simplicity um, pattern and it's the 8228, um, the little bralette. Um, now, I'm not sure um, what this pattern will be like. I think that, I'm not sure whether it looks too old or, I'm not sure, but because one of my sort of sewing resolutions was to make underwear this year, um, I bought this because it looked relatively simple and I didn't want any underwear or anything or boning to have to deal with. Um, so I thought this one was quite, quite a nice one to try for the first underwear attempt. And it is quite pretty. Um, I haven't bought any fabric for this yet. I really need to, but I just bought the pattern so that it was there and again, it was in the sale, so easy purchase. Now, the last pattern I bought from Minerva was a bit of like a... I'm not sure why I bought this. I think it was one of those patterns that I saw and I was like, oh, that's quite a nice one to have in my stash, that could be useful. And I just bought it on a whim. And then now that I've got it, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'll actually use that. Um, but basically it's the Simplicity 8328. Um, so stylish. Um, and it's basically, what I would say is sort of party wear. Um, so there's two different top styles and two different skirt styles. Um, I'm not sure what I was thinking when I got this. Maybe I thought, well actually I'll tell you what it was. I like sort of top and skirt combos for parties and weddings and things like that because I just think it looks really, really nice. Um, and I think that I saw this and was like, oh that would be a good pattern to have and then I can just have the size guides and then I can sort of tailor my own long skirt and top pattern. Um, I mean, I'm sure I'll use it and I'm sure I'll make use of it, but now I'm sort of like, oh, it's, it looks a bit like um, Sweet 16 sort of party wear um, pattern and that's not really the vibe I'm going for, but um, I know that I can tailor it 
for something that I want in the future. I mean, I need another wedding to go to really and then I'll have the motivation to use it. <laughs> okay, so I did in fact get one more pattern from Minerva Crafts, um, but it wasn't related to the other ones. I think I bought it on a separate occasion. It's the Mila. Um, I'm really, really excited to try this. You know how much I love tilling the buttons anyway. And they have done grey pattern. I mean, hallelujah. Um, so I'm really, really excited to make this. Um, I think I'll make this next. I just have a feeling that I'm just gonna wanna make it straight away. And also, I'm about to show you the fabric that I bought for this pattern. And I'm so excited that, I mean, I might start cutting out today. I'm that excited about it. Um, so I'm really, really excited about making this. Um, and it looks relatively simple, actually. I was a bit nervous it was gonna be really, really complicated. Um, but no, so I'm really looking forward to making this. And also, go buy it. I mean, it's a dungaree pattern and it's tilling the buttons. I mean, it can't get better than that. Okay, so this fabric is what I've bought for my Mila dungarees. Um, it is from Minerva Crafts. Um, and I wanted a corduroy dungarees because I thought it would be quite cool for winter. Um, and then I saw this and I thought, that's all my dreams in a fabric. Um, so it's this sort of baby bluey grey um, needle cord. But you're not going to be able to see this, I don't think. But it's glittery. Um, like, not really glittery, just like a subtle glitter. Um, and I just instantly thought, oh my gosh, I need that in a dungarees. I just thought it'd be really, really fun. So I got loads of this fabric to make sure that I can make it. Um, yes, so I'm very, very excited about making this. And I'm sure you'll see me wearing this a lot once it's done. Um, like I said, I think I might start cutting out today because I'm excited. That's if the dog will let me. Um, so we'll see. Okay, so the next two fabrics, I was sort of buying them for um, the bodysuit um, pattern. Um, I don't think I've read the number on this, but it's the Simplicity Madeline 8435 um, A. I don't know what that means. 8435 and then a little A. Is the A relevant? I'm not sure. Um, so the, the fabric is stretch knits only, jersey, rib knit, single knit, spandex blend, stretch lace, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I really, really like this, the pink example here, the dusky pink, is in a really fine rib knit. And it just looks really pretty and warm. So I did buy this really soft um, grey cotton blend rib knit. So it's super soft, super cosy. Um, and I just thought this would be the perfect fabric for this. It does feel um, quite thin, but warm if that makes sense. So it's not like really thick and heavy, um, but it's really soft and cosy. And I just think as for layering, I think this fabric will be perfect for making that bodysuit. Um, again, I think I'll do the long sleeve version um, in this. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. Okay, and the last fabric is again from Minerva Crafts and it's this um, navy and ivory striped um, jersey. Now, I would say it's ribbed, but it's sort of not. It's like, um, it's got 3D ribs in it. I don't know if that calls for it to be ribbed or whether it's just like a textural jersey. Um, but I thought that this would be a really, really fun um, bodysuit. I think this would probably only work in a long sleeve version just so that you, you make the most of the stripes. And I have been practicing um, stripe matching um, in, I've only done it once. I did it once with my friend Megan when we were making a cocoa and it went horribly wrong. We were both sort of like pulling our hair out. And then the second time um, I made a top out of it, which I will be showing you on my blog soon. Um, and it was for the Wendy Ward's um, Knitted Fabrics book, um, her new book that's coming out. Um, I'm lucky enough to be um, one of the ones sort of pattern testing for it and writing a review. Um, so that's coming on the Minerva Crafts Blogger Network really, really soon. Um, not really soon actually, maybe in the next few weeks. Um, and that's the second time I did it and I concentrated so hard on it and I managed to match the majority of the stripes up and I got a really neat um, match under the arms as well, which I was very, very proud of. Um, 
So I wanted to continue my venture of using stripes and I thought that this fabric looked really really cosy and it is. It's a lot thicker than the other one um, and I just think that this would be really really nice as a long sleeve bodysuit as well and then I can get my strap stripe practice in. My stripe practice in. Yes, that's what I meant to say. Okay, so only a couple more things, um, and they're from myfabrics.co.uk. So occasionally I work with um, myfabrics.co.uk and I sort of do like an occasional pattern or something really fun. Um, and they asked me if I wanted to do another one, so I was like, yes. And this was, how weird is this? This was before the Mila dungarees pattern was announced. I said to them, oh, I'd love to make a dungarees. And I saw this quick sew. K3897 um, on their website and I thought that's a really cool like casual um, dungarees pattern um, so they sent me this and they sort of asked me what fabric I wanted and I had this idea that I was going to make this into like a really casual loose fitted dungarees um, and there's this company that I've seen make dungarees and I can't remember what they're called. It's really bad that I'm sort of like, oh, I really like their dungarees so I'm sort of going to copy them. But I really want to have a go at them. And they're sort of, some of you might know of it, instead of having the, the straps with clips on the end or buttons, you put them through the holes and you tie like a knot in it. So it's like really loose fitting casual. I know a lot of companies have done them before and a lot of fashion houses have done them before. But there's this one company that I can never remember and I always see them on girls on Instagram or like cool like crafty people on Instagram. They're always wearing them and they always tag this company that make dungarees. And they're so cool and I thought, well, I make clothes so I might tailor this pattern to that style. So I'm going to work on this pattern. I'm not going to make them exactly like their dungarees. Work from this pattern but um, I've got some really simple plain um, jeans buttons that are just like rounded silver just for the side bits here um, and then I will do the knots on the straps instead of buttons or clasps or buckles or whatever um, so I'm really excited for this but the ultimate fabric I wanted and because I was thinking of this sort of colourful casual summery sort of spring dungarees um, I thought linen and then there was so many linens on their website that were so nice but I chose this sort of like um, teal, dark teal green um, and I'm really really happy with it, it's so nice um, it's a really good quality so it's not really really thin and it's not really really thick um, and I just thought this is the perfect fabric for this sort of idea that I had so so weird that it was before the Mila dungarees came out as well and I was just craving dungarees and I don't actually own any dungarees even though that's how much I love them. I have loads of the Tilly the Buttons pinafore dresses but I don't have any like trousers. I've got loads of jumpsuits, loads of play suits, loads of pinafores. Not combined. So I mean every girl needs a pair of dungarees. Although my boyfriend did tell me the other day that he hates dungarees. But it's my life. I can wear I'll just wear them when he's not here and then he won't complain at me. Um, so yeah, so I bought this linen um, for sort of like a spring casual dungarees, um, which I'm sure will be on my blog very soon after I've probably made the Mila. Right, so I'm really sorry that I didn't get a video up last week and I'm sorry that this one's sort of a bit rushed and a bit trashy, um, but I do have a meeting with my builder in about half an hour, so I've got to quickly put all this footage on my computer and then drive back to the house and then have a meeting. Apparently our chimney's gonna fall off, so no emergency there. <laughs> I hope that you've all had a good January. I can't believe it's February tomorrow. That just feels absolutely crazy. And it's just started raining outside. Oh my God, I'm so sick of rain, honestly. Um, I'm sure I will start making some of these things soon and put them on the blog for you to see. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram. I'm at jessely underscore handmade if you want to see what I'm doing day to day. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment below if you've seen any new patterns that you think I might like and you think I should get. Um, 
I am wearing my um, So House 7 toaster sweater today, um, which I have been living in. Um, I've got loads of pictures on my Instagram um, of it, and I just absolutely love this sweater, honestly. Every time it comes out the wash, I put it straight on. Um, it's just really cosy and warm, but it feels like I'm not... I know this sounds really weird, but it feels like I'm not weighed down or like I'm wearing much. It's just really light, but I feel I feel really, really warm in it. So this is one of my favourite makes of the day, honestly. I'm going to make another one, I swear. Um, so yeah, this is my toaster sweater, um, and yeah, I just really hope that you've had a good January so far, and that all your makes and your sewing are going well. Comment below if you have any questions, and I will hopefully see you next week for another video, um, if all goes to plan, but apologies if I'm a bit late again. So, this will be a midweek video, um, and then hopefully that will soften the blow for next week. Um, but fingers crossed everything will go well. So I may or may not see you next week for another video. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon. Happy handmade everyone.